All right. Tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's Saturday, March 14th. 2015, we will be having another Linux Zoo Crew on the state of Linux gaming. And I figured I'd put together a real quick video for you guys today um, on Lutris Open Game System. Now, this was something that was suggested to me to try out uh, at CoupledLinux.com, and this sat on the back burner for way too long. I've never looked at this application before, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to install this, and we're going to play with this right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. Now, Lutris looks pretty interesting here. It's an open gaming platform for Linux. It helps you to install and manage your games in a unified interface. Our goal is to support every game which runs on Linux, from native to Windows games via Wine to emulators and browser games. The desktop application and website are Libre Software and your contributions are welcome. More information on the About page. Very interesting stuff indeed. It shows some of the latest games that you can get running. And uh, I had a chance to look through the game list, and it's very promising, some of the things they have available here. So you just go to the Download tab and select your distribution of choice that you wish to install from. In my case, since uh, Manjaro uh, is built on top of the Arch base, uh, we can just follow the instructions by uh, getting it from the AUR repository, but if you're using Ubuntu, you can download a deb file and use GDEB to install it very easily. Or uh, on RPM-based distros, they have instructions here, Gentoo, Slackware. You can also download a tarball, or you can build from GitHub. Uh, so their suggestion here is really um, the Git version for Arch Linux may be unstable. Use that with, with caution. So why don't we have a look here and we'll just open up a terminal and we will go ahead and access uh, and find that. So that is Yawart, Lutris. All right, and here it is. Uh, we've got uh, choice one or we can get it from Git. Uh, looks like... Um, yeah, the Git version is a little bit newer, but you know what? I think I'd rather go with the stable version. So I'm press 1 and enter, and let's go ahead and build this bad boy. Okay, and we'll just continue building. It needs to install Python YAML, and you can see I have all the other dependencies installed here. All right. Okay, it installed already. If you want to manually install runners, you can choose from the list below and install the ones you wish to use. Wine, ScumVM, and so you've got a ton of different emulators you can download for this, and it'll set it up. Pretty darn neat. So let's go ahead and uh, close our terminal here. We can go into our game directory. I assume they're going to put an icon there. Awesome, and there it is, Lutris. Okay, welcome to Lutris. There are no games currently installed. You can start by adding some. Okay, we can manually add games from the hard drive. Connect to your Lutris.net account to sync your library. And let's uh, browse Lutris.net for games to install. All right, we're on the page, and pretty much we can choose any kind of games. Uh, why don't we uh, pick something in the 4X? I've always liked 4X strategy. No, nothing in that category yet. All right, let's pick another category. How about something in simulation? All right, let's see if there's anything in here that I already own that I can install. All right, well, they do have Pinball FX2. I know that's in my Steam library. Let me see if we can install that one. And it is a Windows game here. 
All right, and then we have an install link. Download the installer or download installer legacy. Well, let's just uh, download the installer. Okay, and apparently I have to be running Steam for this. And I really didn't want to run Steam for that, so let's make another pick. See if there's something free and open source we can download. And by the way, I do know for a fact that Pinball FX2 does work. Uh, that runs by uh, installing uh, Steam in Play on Linux, and you can actually get this working. And I know for a fact it works because I have it installed, but that's a video for another time. Okay, let's try OpenTTD, and this is a, uh, okay, this looks like a SimCity simulation, and um, they have a Dezora version, they have um, a 32 and a 64-bit, so why don't we just go ahead and pick out the 64-bit version, we'll click Install, and then we'll run that with uh, Lutris, and press OK. Okay, it asks us which version. Continue. All right, and that's perfectly fine directory. We'll install that. Okay, quick download. Installation finished. Let's launch the game. Okay, the, for some reason when I pressed launch the game, it didn't work. So let's go ahead and navigate to this directory where the game is and try and launch it from there. So we'll just change directory. Okay, list the items in there. Okay, and it looks like we have the ex executable there. So let's just launch that. Okay, it looks like they need... Uh, we need to download additional graphics. I thought that installed rather quickly, so from within game, we'll select to download the content. Zip, bada, boom. Okay, very nice. And so you're actually able to get the game to work. Now, it is a possibility because it's saying that I don't have any currently installed games presently, but then again, I didn't set up an account. This is my first time using this, so let's go ahead and minimize that. But yeah, that, that looks like it works. So now if I want to, you know, I can play a new game, scenario, that sort of thing. And really, I haven't even tried OpenTT, uh D yet. Um, but this looks like something fun and uh, quick to try out. Uh, and I'm sure I could set up some other advanced settings like set this in full screen mode and that sort of thing. Unfortunately, you know, uh, for some reason my screen capture does not really like capturing full screen games at present. So this is good just for the demonstration purposes. So pretty nice. Let's go ahead and close that. So this looks like something pretty neat. Uh, now, uh, you do need to set up an account with this um, so that I guess you can uh, sync all of the games and everything that you uh, have installed on your system. So this is something I'll have to explore a little bit more. And uh, as I have a chance to have a better look at this, um, I'll uh, put up some more videos on Lutris. Now, Saturday nights at 8 p.m. is Cup of Linux game night. So right after the Zoo Crew tomorrow night, we're also going to start with Star Conflict at 8 p.m. And then from um, 8.45 until, I believe, 10 o'clock, we will be playing Open Red Alert. And during that time, I am going to be giving out a booby prize to a random winner. So you must be present to win, and uh, you must physically be playing uh, the game to win. Uh, but we will randomly select a winner to get a Steam key. So uh, we're also going to be giving away prizes and that sort of thing. It is a lot of fun. So definitely join us at cupoflinux.com. Sign up with us if you have not already done so. We've got a lot of great activities for Linux-minded people. We'll catch you there. Mm -hmm.